We're just a few steps away from the end of 2015 at the Solid Signal Podcast. This is the one for December 14th, 2015. And this week I wanted to talk about something that was a little bit off topic. And, you know, these are the off topic ones I do as often as I think I can get away with it. Not that I don't enjoy talking about satellite TV, antennas, and um, cellular boosters. But I also enjoy talking about a lot of other stuff. And I think the podcast brings in people who are interested in a lot of different things and shows them that Solid Signal is a company full of people who care about stuff, myself included. And so this week I want to talk about robotics and where we are going in robotics in the next five to ten years. You know, it's become almost a cliche to think that the robots will rise up against humanity. Whether or not you think about The Matrix or The Terminator or any of the recent movies where people fall in love with Siri or some sort of intelligent assistant, the one thing you have to know is that computers are a lot more smart and aware than they were just a few years ago. Obviously, your cell phone has got uh, some sort of intelligent assistant built in, whether it's Siri or Google Now or whatever, that knows where you are, knows where you're going, and tries to help you out with useful things. Also, if you've recently gotten a drone for the holidays or are about to get a drone for the holidays, and I should step aside for a second and mention that drone registration is now mandatory. Go to the FAA's website if you need to know more about that. But drones are actually pretty smart little buggers. Um, They know where they are in space and they know how to hover and they know how to translate what you're asking them to do, like go forward, into a series of commands that control multiple motors to let you do exactly what you want. When you look at how smart robots are, and by robots I mean the intelligent components of your car, of your phone, of your toys, you can see that we're probably about halfway toward a point where we really need to start worrying about whether or not our intelligent assistants become our intelligent masters. The one step, of course, that we haven't gotten to is the evolution of true artificial intelligence. You know, computers have a lot of information, and they can use that information to execute commands in ways that we uh, tell them to do, but they don't have any ambition, much like perhaps one of your children. Sorry. Anyway, um, the point is that Computers have no desire to do anything on their own. And it's that desire to do something on their own which is going to make them incredibly dangerous if we decide to do that. Uh, That's what's going to turn them into the Matrix and the Terminator and the whatever. um, Because it's going to make it possible to interact with computers that really have this very independent process in ways that they don't have it now. It's scary, and we talk about it, but... I'm not 100% worried about it for the next 5 to 10 years. I think there are going to be some questions about whether things like self-driving cars really work in ways that are safe enough for all of us or whether we want to relinquish that level of control all the time. But we're not yet at that point where computers and robotic devices are trying to make that level of decision for us. I think we talk about that a lot and we're concerned about that a lot and that's a good thing because we want to make sure that when we do cross that threshold that we're really ready with a series of thoughts and ethics that that make sense. I, I don't want to think about the idea that we treat our intelligent assistants so unfairly that when they do become aware that they decide to take that back out on us. And I, I know I know we do this. I mean, I, when you get into a voicemail tree, you just shout at it. You know, when, you, when you're when you doing a self-checkout at the, at, at the grocery store, you're yelling at the machine. Everybody yells at it because you think it's stupid and you don't think it's not helping you. I, I get that. And I'm certainly not saying you need to be nicer to robots now because eventually they will take it out on you. What we want to do is think about ways to keep intelligent assistants intelligent without making them really aware in a way that's going to hurt us.